Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, the Black Spock boys are in town, so I'm gonna try and actually capture a few days of the team camp. They are in Bagnoles, there's five of us already living in Girona, so it's relatively convenient. Try and get to know some of the boys a bit better. Starting off with a bit of breakfast. I'm gonna try and do the whole ride with the boys today. So I've, I've started with them every day, but just with my rib, kind of not push it too much. But today I feel like it's time, it's time to push it and see how it responds, because it's been okay, like not amazing, not good. So I'll try and do five hours with the boys today, and then I'll probably have my answer, whether I can train or not. Classic bit of porridge, lots of mixed berries, bit of yogurt, bit of brown sugar to go on top. Lovely. Big one, wee one. One of my favorite hobbies is cooking forever. Thanks, darling. The nice thing about getting in and around Girona, this is a lot of bike paths actually. It's, they put a lot of infrastructure for cyclists. People on scooters. It's really nice actually. I'm just off to the sauna. Wow, the gym. By the sauna at the gym. Just to drop my uh, bag off before I made the boys for the ride, because I'll finish my ride at the sauna. So the days are starting to get warmer, which means the race days will be super hot. So this is a nice opportunity for me over the next few weeks to Try to get used to the heat again because it's definitely a weakness of mine. But I found sauna work, specifically post ride, really helps. I'm actually really excited for the ride with the boys today because I've not done a, a big hack with the boys for whew, a long time since I've been in New Zealand at least. And I especially not done one with a following team car. So yeah, it'll be really good. Hopefully I feel alright. I feel okay this morning. Ribs like there, but it's not bad. The bike run doesn't seem to affect it. One of the boys has arrived on time. It's Tomica. What time is this, Mark? What time is it? You tell me. One minute early. Tom Sexton, I'm not sure we've had you on the vlog yet, have we? Nah, oh, maybe at National Champs. But oh, true, yeah. yeah. Not this one-on-one -on -one personal piece. Nah, nah, I'm always a part of the crowd, just another one. So how are you going? You were a late comer to Europe, relatively, to the other boys. Why was that? Uh, yeah, so we went to Oceania Champs uh, in Brisbane. Yeah. And I did the track racing there. Um, we had Gady, he actually flew over from from here in Girona uh, to race with us on the track. And we did the uh, road race as well with Black Spark team. Yeah. Uh, and then we came over here to Belge uh, and raced the Arnold Walla Memorial Race. Went to an another track race in Glasgow and then, yeah, we're here yeah. now. So from uh, my point of view, or from an outsider's point of view, I'd say you've definitely stepped up, you've leveled up this year, your IP 410. Yeah, definitely. Second at the New Zealand Road Race, third in the time trial. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? How come you've leveled I, up? I think it's just the, the consistency of racing in Europe, you know, you race two times a week, let's say, on average. Um, and the, the races are hard and it's that physical toll that's taken on you and you just, you have a break at the end of the season and you come back and you're like, oh, I'm like a lot stronger now. Like, you know, you can just feel it. You go out and you do the watts you were doing in training six months ago and you go, this is a piece of piss now. Wow. Yeah. So to be sponsor correct, you're saying it's basically down to the team giving you the opportunities in Europe. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like. You can see, you can read it all into the numbers and that, but like you, numbers don't lie in the end, and you can see I've improved maybe like ten percent sort of thing. So it's, it's pretty yeah. incredible. Yeah, how it's much epic to see. You can improve from just being over here, eh? There's the other boys. It's James Oram and Josh Kench. What time have they turned up, Tommy? Nine thirty-seven. Yeah. Two minutes late, boys. I can see Betty on the map. Oh, no. I see where he is. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. How are you going? <laughs> Myself and Kench have found ourselves off the front. The boys are all doing efforts up the climbs. And we're the two, what would you call us? The two injured guys on the team. Normally on these rides, you're just basically off the back all the time. So it's nice to be off the front. Oh yeah. But we could call this part of the vlog the concussion update. How are you going, mate? How many days has it been since your crash? Uh, two weeks to the dot, basically. She's out the door today for four hours, so you've obviously been recovering well. A week, basically, in bed, doing nothing, not much screen time, just resting the head, and then I've just been slowly building up since then. This this week's the first week I've been riding, so yeah. Hopefully, it comes back quickly. 
What did you find made your symptoms worse and what made them better? The big thing is screen time and that's usually the worst. Yeah. Um, so that makes you all headachy and agitated. And, and, I think, and you felt that? You were a grump? Yeah, big grump. First few days. Well, I just slept all day though. What do you think has helped aid your recovery? Just sleeping, I think. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Having like four hour naps in the afternoon kind of thing. That's a good siesta. Just, just, yeah, mate. Just taking it real easy. So that was probably the biggest thing. And eating healthy. Yeah. Helps a lot. Tune in for regular updates about Kench's concussion. Or lack off, hopefully. Megan it. You might. Youngest guy in the team, how old are you? 19 years of age. 19. So you were my roommate at Cycle Classic. That's right. I did I impart some good wisdom on you? Oh, I learned lots from Mark. And what are you looking for out of this season? It's your just, first year under in the in the elite ranks. Yeah, so just gain as much experience as I can. Um, some great guys on the team to learn from. Yeah. I said Hamon and she said seven words. <laughs> and I think one of the seven was Hamon. <laughs> and I just agreed. Finished the ride with the boys. I didn't feel as bad as I thought I would. I think after a week off. Definitely feel stiff. Rest does a lot of people well, but I always feel pretty bad for it. But I know long term it's good for me. Pretty leisurely five hours to be honest. The boys had efforts, so I just tapped up the climbs. So now I'll hit the sauna and then get home. I left the house at nine this morning. Back at five. It's a full-time job, this bike riding. Nah, not really. I've done a full-time job. This is a lot easier. Out in the sun with the boys doing your hobby. Getting paid for it. There you go. Wouldn't be a Mark Stewart vlog without at least a small chat about nutrition or what I'm eating today. So basically, Got home quite late from a ride. Still five hours. It wasn't a hard ride, but burning calories nonetheless. We're going out for dinner tonight. We're going to an all-you-can-eat sushi place. Bit of a black spoke team bonding thing, so that'll be fun. Corbin Strong gave the recommendation, so that'll be good, Corbin. But anyway, it's five o'clock now, so dinner's in a couple of hours. I don't want to not eat, so I kind of... I've made the choice. I figured if I don't eat anything now and I hold on, or even if I eat something small now, I'm, knowing me, I'm definitely going to crack and devour more than my fair share of sushi. And at the minute, the goal is not bulking. The goal is actually to lose a little bit of weight. I enjoyed my week off very much. So I actually opting to have, say, a larger meal now. So a couple of tins of tuna, a bit of mayonnaise, a bit of cheese, bread, a little Coke Zero. Obviously, that's got nothing in it. Have a good feed now. So it means at least I can go out for dinner and enjoy my time with the boys and I'm not stressing or I'm not hangry and I can, yeah, actually eat to enjoy the flavor rather than just feast because I'm starving. One thing I missed so much when I was in New Zealand was that kind of British European summer. Get back from your ride, prep your lunch, have a fizzy juice, park up, watch a bike race. Boys, get it. I like this piece. Thanks. Now I heard Logan that you've never eaten anything other than meat and potatoes. So yeah. how's sushi going down? It's going all right, you know. Yeah. Having a change in lifestyle, but it's all right. Yeah, you're cultured now, eh? Yeah. That is actually mega, eh? Doing another round, bro. Yeah. And that is the end of a day at the Black Spoke training camp. Nice to chat to a few of the guys on the team with a lot of the guys based in Belgium and half of us based in Girona. It was really nice just for a week to be able to ride together and not kind of connect under the pressures of a race environment. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe.